Okay, Monday, September 26, 2016. We're going to look at commodities here. Uh, quickly, uh, uh, wheat's looking to make a bounce here. Uh, uh, sugar, be very careful on that. Beans, I like the short side on any bounce. Lumber, I like the long side. Cattle looks like uh, it's just getting uh, consolidation on a bounce. Hogs, Getting cheap again, cotton, uh, watch for follow through to the upside. Corn also with weed possible uh, continuation of the seasonal bounce. Uh, but I uh, expect ranges to narrow. Uh, coffee, it's back to an accumulation mode on any deep correction and cocoa is a short on any bounce. Uh, natural gas, uh, I'm treating the uh, Friday's action as a retest of the breakout. Uh, heating oil along with gasoline and oil. Uh, oil, uh, the next two days would be critical uh, for oil here. We did press up to 647 uh, and stalled. We had a pretty good pullback here, and we're seeing that at continuation also in the metals uh, with silver and gold. Um, we're getting a continuation shakeout of Friday's late day action in uh, the currencies. And copper looks to be at a Fibonacci line for a reversal here. Oops. Okay. Here is copper. And uh, as you can see, right. Okay, uh, it's finding a resistance level here on the Fibonacci. Uh, it did look structurally like it wanted to work a little bit higher. Uh, you can see the sideways action here uh, work higher, but uh, this week, if it's down, I'm going to treat it as a pause before heading lower. Uh, gold, the same thing. Um, uh, the dollar, uh, its correlation is quite strong uh, recently with the dollar. And uh, I like the short side of gold uh, just due to a macroeconomic cycle uh, looking back at history. Every day that goes by, eventually um, the marketplace will adjust to uh, higher rates. But remember, through the 1930s, things were... Uh, it was slow. We're coming out of the depression. It takes a little while for leverage to build up again. Uh, palladium, same thing. Uh, white metal with the silver, like the short side of palladium. Um, platinum, basically the same thing. I don't trade much of platinum. Silver, uh, it's a found a Fibonacci line right now. Uh, it's down. Uh, pretty good this morning. We'll see how uh, 1950 holds. I did notice that the unbalanced volume in the silver ETN uh, uh, short term looks to be oversold. We're, it's running out of longs, basically. They're just, there wasn't mon many people who wanted to buy this last swing uh, higher. Uh, crude oil, uh, depending upon, it, we're, you can drop your uh, breakout to say the 46 area, uh, we may have uh, uh, where uh, we, get, we get a slide lower here. Uh, for right now, you know, we had a pretty good run up to that 47 level and came back. So I'm going to stand aside for now as this triangle here reaches its apex. Uh, gasoline, same type of deal. The range is narrowing. So we're going to get some sort of trend. Uh, but like I said before, in the 47 have some area, yeah, 46, 47 area, have something resting just in case there's a blast through it here because the ranges are narrowing. Same thing with gasoline. Say like 138. Uh, heating oil. Uh, I like the spread between long heating oil and short uh, ratio trade, short gasoline. Um, this may be a precursor and foreshadowing or in foreboding for diesel prices uh, with uh, transports and um, cargo. 
Now, also on any type of swoon, look look into shipping again, as in boats <laughs> or ships. Go natural gas here. Uh, it needs to get back into the game here. Another couple, two days worth of pullback, it'll negate uh, and turn into a, a short-term bear flag, I think. Uh, if it goes sideways to up, if it doesn't get back above the breakout area, basically. There, this may be susceptible to a deeper pullback. Uh, Coco, like I said, short any rallies. Uh, coffees, uh, a lot of bodies got into it, even follow the ETNs for the uh, sentiment, but this is an accumulation. Uh, remember, this one can get quite violent like coffee, or excuse me, cotton. Uh, corn, seasonal, uh, possible inverted uh, head and shoulders, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that corn's going back to 380 anytime soon. More, 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 more 280 than 380. Uh, cotton, same thing. Uh, we're getting a pullback on it, but keep an eye on funds as they begin to uh, move around in bully markets. Lean hogs, they're getting cheap. Uh, that's all I can say. I don't think they're going to enter a bull market. Um, uh, probably covered rights is how I'd look at it. Uh, buy the underline and sell the option. Uh, cattle is basically the, the same thing. Um, uh, I'm noticing more uh, marketing of products here. There should be, <laughs> we should get a round of, of, of beef commercials, right? Here's lumber, uh, same thing on the pullback. Uh, I like lumber. Uh, it'll have ties in with the uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, soybeans, I think 650 versus 1050 is how I look at soybeans. Uh, for producer, hedge on out as far as you can for the next couple of years. Sugar, this will be quite interesting here. Be very careful. Um, uh, if you're on the bullish side, if we had to go bull on this, I would prefer to, to buy options. That's how I'd look at it. <clears throat> Just like with coffee, you can see how quickly the pullbacks can come. It's still above its breakout area of the last couple of weeks. Uh, just like natural gas, we saw how, how far it came back to retest. So be careful in sugar. Like I said, with wheat, um, uh, if I had to buy any of the grains and, and or oil seeds, it would be wheat. I don't have a chart of uh, canola. So did I have bean oil on here? I don't have bean oil, do I? No bean oil. Hmm. All right, so there you have it, and for Monday, September 26, 2016.